Okay, I'm here in the uh, field that had cover crop wheat on it that was terminated. As you can see, the wheat was just broadcast out over the uh, corn stubble last year. I never knocked it down. I used to uh, pull the bush hog over it and just didn't get to it last year, so I was wondering how that was going to work. Doesn't seem to have been a problem because you can see here the uh, corns coming up down the rows here. Um, see foxtail seedlings in there. We're going to do post emerge herbicide application in order to deal with that. There's, there's no pre emerge on this field. Um, yeah, so I got a good burn down on the wheat. I was kind of hoping the wheat would be a little bit thicker, but I did plant it late and I didn't incorporate this field, so I got what I got. So I'm gonna go down over here other field that had this one over here had it was poa annua but I tried this is the field I tried uh, the uh, interceding the uh, annual rye grass and the uh, other radishes the other stuff in last year right before it canopied which I wasn't particularly thrilled with how that turned out but I did notice something as I was planting in here is that everything that I thought in here that was poa annual was not. You can see here, this was the annual ryegrass. And there was lots of it in here. Um, the annual ryegrass actually worked well with the inner seeding at Canopy. Um, the broad leaves that I put in here on the mustards and the African cabbage and the other stuff didn't do much of anything. So I'm probably not going to repeat that. If I do any uh, inner seeding again and Oh, what did I do here? Ooh, I must have got off my mark. Look at that. I got a twin row here. That's going to be interesting. Huh. Yeah. How did I do that? Alright, well anyway, yeah. Yeah, when I, uh, if I try the inner seating again, it's just going to be annual ryegrass to establish in there as a cover for the, uh, following spring. I'm not going to waste my money on the various broadleaf covers again trying that. So yeah, so that's where we're at now. And I'll keep you updated on some of the other methods I've been using here. Thanks for watching.